Hello everyone, it's Katie Weather here. Today we're talking about our July forecast of 2020. It is officially came out. Um, this is my first first month forecast. I plan on doing this for every month from now on. So I'm starting with July. Um, I'm going to show you the temperature of who's going to be above and below average on temperatures and um, precipitation. And I'm going to be showing you overall at the end of the video what you might see. Um, so who will be above and below average mostly who will be dry, um, who will see some thunderstorms more often, yes, and who it will rain, just all that coming up at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Um, and you don't want to miss what I'm going to talk, be talking about throughout the video, so stay tuned. So, July forecast 2020, let's start off with um, temperature probability here for the United States. So, as you take a look over here in the west, we do see some normal than, um, warmer than normal temperatures over here in the west. That doesn't mean it's going to be super duper warm. It's probably not going to be super duper warm. It's just going to be like warmer than normal over here in the west. So, just a little warmer than normal. I know it's very cold right now in the west, and that could be the case in July. We'll just see mostly warmer than normal temperatures. It doesn't mean it's going to be all the time. We just definitely see some cool downs and some cold fronts, but we're going to see normal than normal for most of the month. Now let's go and take a look at our above average temperatures right here for parts of the western United States right here. So we were going to see above average temperatures right here for portions of the um, western United States. It's been very warm here. Right now it's cold. We're kind of in a new pattern change, so we're seeing warm, cold, warm, cold. But most of the month of July, I'm definitely not saying the whole month, but most of the month of July, we're going to be above average for most of the West here. So above average temperatures right here for most of the West. And we look at our very above average, very hot here for parts of Colorado, Utah, and um, New Mexico. Just a little bit in northern New Mexico right there. But yes, a very above average temperature is very hot here. Again, I'm not saying it's going to be like this for the whole month. We definitely could see some cool downs and below average a little bit here. Not a lot, but most of the month will be very above average for here. So, yes. Now, what I want to go ahead and take a look at is our near average temperatures right here. So, we're going to be seeing near average temperatures here. I would, I would say that our temperatures are going to be a little bit normal, warmer than normal here, but not warmer than normal enough to be in a warmer than normal category here for the month of July. But near average temperatures right here. So near average temperatures for parts of the central and eastern United States here uh, for the month of July. So now what I want to go and take a look at is our warmer than normal um, section here. For the eastern United States here for the month of July. And this includes like parts of Michigan all the way down to parts of South Carolina and actually Georgia here. Just a little bit of Georgia. You guys are going to see some little bit warmer than normal temperatures. Otherwise, I think Georgia, you guys are going to be pretty um, near average, but a little bit warmer than normal temperatures in um, Georgia. So we're going to see warmer than normal temperatures in this orange shaded area that you see there for the month of July. We're going to see above average temperatures right here for portions of the Northeast. Now, I, I do want to mention that these above average temperatures here are the same as the ones over here. They may look like a different color, but this one's just different because it's shaded into um, the orange color for warmer than normal um, category there. But it's the same. This one's just not shaded into a color. But yeah, these exact same things as the, over here in the west. We'll see above average temperatures for parts, most of the northeast here, almost all of the northeast. You guys are going to be, we already, we already are above average temperatures. And if you guys want the cold to come, you guys are tired of warmness in the um, northeast, sorry to say, but you guys are going to stay above average for most of the month of July. You might see some cool downs here and there, but mostly going to stay above average for the month of July. So... Let's go and take a look at our next slide here. This is going to be our precipitation um, probability here. So 
we go and take a look at our precipitation probability. We're going to start off with our below average rainfall here. So it's a precip precipitation below average for portions of the northern United States, for parts of Montana, a little bit of North Dakota, South Dakota, a um, few other states here, and Wyoming, much of Wyoming. You're going to be be very below average on your rainfall. So very dry and below average rainfalls here for portions of it. And we have our second um, little bit below average, but just below average, not super very below average, just below average for surrounding that. And we're actually going to be average for a lot of the United States. So all that white shaded area there, all the white, that's going to be average, average rainfall. So not too much rainfall, not too less rainfall, but average. So we're not going to be very above average for much of the United States. So we're going to take a look at our above average temperatures here. I mean, precipitation here. You see some very, um, not very, above average temperatures here. And there's another layer of shading here that I want to show you. But first I want to show you only the above average. Just simple above average here. So this includes much of the um, central and southern, uh, eastern United States here. Much of it. Bunch of states here in the above average rainfall. You guys are going to get a lot of rainfall here and thunderstorms here. Possible for the month of July. So above average here for much of the southeast. Not southeast. South, yeah, southeast here. South, southeastern United States, and I want to go ahead and show you our very above average um, shaded color here. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you our very above average temperatures here. So, yeah, there it is. So, in this shaded area here, you will see very above average temperatures right here. This includes much of the south, southeast United States here. From Tennessee all the way down to parts of Florida, that's about the line there, you guys are going to be very above average on precipitation. So you guys are um, going to get a lot of rainfall. If you like dry weather, sorry about that, you guys are going to get a lot of rainfall. So a lot of rainfall for the west. That doesn't mean we're going to see a lot either. You definitely will see some dry days, but mo most of July you guys are going to see some very above average precipitation amounts. Now, for the final slide here, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, our uh, um, official July 2020 forecast. And here it is. So we got a lot of things on this map that I'm going to break down. So, so let's start off with the drier than normal temperatures in the northwest. So this whole area here is going to be dry. So dry, drier than normal temperatures in these white areas. Um, they're filled in, don't worry. Um, these dry areas here, this is just going to be dry. So parts of Montana, I, um, Idaho, and a lot of other states, I'm not going to mention them all, but you see that um, brown shaded area there, you guys are going to be really dry. And you saw the below average um, rainfall? Yes, that's what's causing it to be dry. No rainfall here. What were the parts of the United States up there? Now I'm going to go and show you our hot and frequent heat waves for portions of the United States, mostly in the West. West, I know you guys are cold, and I know you guys are like, what? We've had a lot of cool downs. Yeah, well, for the month of July, you might see more warm-ups than cool downs. I'm not saying well, you're only going to see uh, more, um, heat waves or you're um, going to stay warm. No, definitely not. You're just going to see more frequent heat waves and more warmer temperatures in the month of July than cold. So definitely could see some really cold temperatures, but mo more hot than cold. So we go in and look at our frequent rain here. This is, again, just like our um, above average temperatures, I mean, above average rainfall amounts, almost that same area here. So frequent rain here. Again, could see some center sunny days, but um, frequent rain in that area. 
We also see some frequent thunderstorms for parts of the northern and southern United States here. So again, this whole area right here, you guys are going to see um, frequent thunderstorms here. So yes, frequent thunderstorms, and I'm definitely not saying that we're going to be seeing frequent thunderstorms all the time, um, every day. No, we're just going to see some more frequent thunderstorms than normal. So frequent thunderstorms in that area. And let's go ahead and take a look at our very last thing, warmer than normal temperatures, just like I mentioned in the temperature and that um, temperature probability. Again, this is going to be warmer than normal temperatures up there. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. So stay safe, stay weather aware, leave a like, subscribe. I'm planning on doing this for every month. So stay safe, stay weather aware, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!